Hey everyone, Mr. J. So here today. Uh, another change of plan, as usual. My uh, hand forged axe head that I'm making ended up starting to get a crack in it in the back of the eye. Not a big deal, but so it's not really going to be a usable axe anymore. Worst comes to worst, I can really just weld that up, forge the weld back down, and then just sort of have this as a a decorative hand forged axe but so anyways my old craftsman hatchet which I'm sure you've seen before in my other videos took the handle off that so then I can just sort of have an old fancy looking handle on the, the decorative axe and the hand carved handle that I was working on for my homemade axe which is carved out of uh, ash using just a draw knife and a rasp and files and everything is going to be what this craftsman hatchet goes on because this craftsman hatchet I've been using for years and years and even with the smaller handle on it, it it's a carpenter's hatchet is what it is so it's a little heavier than a regular hatchet about the same size on the the blade and everything but a little bit larger and heavier and you know it's got the little neck in it and stuff but I always wondered what it could do on a longer handle because me and my brother have used this thing to chop down trees, you know, like, not very big trees, but, anyways, so I'm gonna get this done, and, uh, get the handle finished out and smoothed out, and maybe, uh, put some sort of finish on it, and, uh, we'll get back with you. Thanks for watching. Alright, so here's where we're at so far. I've got the handle carved out, starting on the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the half, the socket, whatever. Uh, I've got it split using just a handsaw, and I've been knocking it down. You can see the marks there where I just got to rasp it down a little bit more. And what I use to finish it is I just use a wood rasp, and then come back with a file with a decent tooth on it to smooth it off. So, anyways, and uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make a steel or a wooden wedge for this got a couple of pieces of hardwood over here drying out. Take these and lock one into your vise and then use any sort of blade really. You could use a knife even but use like my draw knife here and just hammer off a wedge and it'll split away from it. Taper down to nothing and then you can trim it to size and pound it in there. Anyways, we'll show you this once it's hung and see if maybe I can get some footage of me putting it into a log. Alrighty. And I just thought I'd throw in some uh, tips that uh, I found from, you know, putting ha new handles on stuff. When you have this slit down the center of your handle, when you put it into the head of whatever you're putting it on, it'll squeeze this together and sometimes it'll squeeze it together too much so you can't get a wooden wedge in. So one way to prevent that is to go like this, go ahead and put it in a vise, tighten it down a little bit so it squeezes together, and then just run a handsaw through it like that, and then you'll just be opening up the very top edge, sorry I'm doing this with one hand with my bad hand, but anyways, and then you'll have the top opened up a little bit wider, and then you can keep tightening it a little bit to a certain point. And then, when you get the head on the shaft, you'll be able to get a wooden wedge in, no problem. So anyways, that's one way, one trick to make this a little bit easier. Hey everyone, so I got this axe finished up. And this is pretty much what I plan on using it for. This is the piece of wood that this handle came from which I used my pro to lop off chunks of it, you know, and then find the part with the straightest grain, cut it off, cut it up, shape it with a draw knife, file and rasp and everything, but when you got a piece of wood like this, sometimes you need to get rid of little knots. You can see I already did over here and over here, but anyways, here, let me flip this over. I'll show you, this is a pretty, pretty good woodworking hatchet. I'm not even using really the length of the handle. See, it really just 
goes right through it. And I haven't sharpened this thing in years and years and years. But anyways, nice hatchet, and it knocks out pretty decent sized chunks. So you could even use it for, like I said, cutting down small trees. Sorry, it's a little awkward holding up the tree that you're trying to chop, but it knocks out decent sized chunks. Anyways, thanks for watching.